Hey there, Dr. Dave here. I'm going to share with you right now some of the most commonly asked questions I am getting every single day. I'm the RV dummy. Stand by. Here we go. Okay, guys, let's get right into it. Um, so many of you are really, really scared. You've got questions. Some of you don't have any answers. And I'm here to help you today in this video. Um, everything that's going on now about the coronavirus, the financial markets, RV camping, they all kind of fit together. The most common question I'm getting, and by the way, I'm being like barraged with questions by text message, uh, by email, like every day, a lot. Um, I, I, sorry if I can't respond to you every single one personally, it's just been impossible. But that's why I'm doing this video to try to help you right here. Believe it or not, the most commonly asked question I am getting is, do you know, should we cancel our plans to travel in our RV? And I'm going to answer that right now. My answer is it depends. I don't really have the exact answer. It depends what's going to be taking place over the next several weeks or month or so, um, whether we, things get worse and worse and worse. Let's face it, right now, restaurants are closed, businesses are closed. Even if you're on the road, it, it may be hard to get certain items like food and certainly toilet paper, things like that. It might be very difficult. Campgrounds may be closing up. A lot of them are already. A lot of the state parks and national parks are closing. The private campgrounds are going to be right behind. So it really depends. We have to be very careful. This is not a time to go crazy and go out on the road where you might not even be able to stay somewhere. You might not even be able to get the right amount of food that you need. This is a time most likely, at least right now for the foreseeable future, to stay put. Stay put where you are and be safe. I don't have all the answers, but I'm going to get into some really important points and I'm going to also keep this video very short today because I know your time is very, very valuable, but I want to touch on the most important things. Another really important question I'm getting is, hey, Dr. Dave, I'm watching my retirement funds go way, way down. I'm scared to death. What do I do? This is a tough one and I feel for you because I'm in the exact same situation. I, um, a couple months ago, I was looking at my retirement funds and I'm thinking, wow, I've got no, I don't have a worry in the world. Things are great. Now, fast forward to today and yeah, there's absolutely a concern. But again, we have to stay the course. We have to be careful. And the best thing to do is not to jump off the roller coaster. The people that jump off roller coasters in the middle are the ones that get hurt the most. Ride it down, ride it down it will come back up. In the meantime, I don't know when, but it will. But in the meantime, do you remember how we lived back in the day when we were poor students, poor college students? We lived, we, you know, we ate ramen. We ate macaroni and cheese. We ate very inexpensive foods. Um, we may have to resort to that. You know, we may have to live a really, really frugal lifestyle. Everybody that watches me, all my friends here are in different situations. Many of you, or some of you, I should say, some of you are wealthy and have all the money you need. And, and God bless you if that's your case. It's good for you. I feel great for you. Seriously, there's, I don't have a jealous bone in my body. If you're in great shape and have millions, millions and millions socked away, good for you. However, a lot of us are not quite in that situation. So we do have to be super, super careful. And one thing we can do during this really tough period is keep in mind, and there's always, there's always a silver lining that comes out of things like this. Yoko and I are learning every day what's most important to us in our lives. It's not necessarily going out and buying things. Like I've, I've said this for years on my show and on my channel here. I've, I've been preaching this for years. It's not, life is not about accumulating things and spending a lot of money and having the largest house. And I'll tell you something, those people that have spent money and taken out loans, and I've been talking about this for years and I've been getting a lot of pushback, but now I don't wanna say I told you so, but wouldn't it feel a lot better to own a cheaper RV right now that's totally paid for in cash as opposed to you went out and bought a $100,000 RV and you got large payments every month. I don't know about you, I feel much better being in cash positions and not having to owe a penny to anything. And luckily that's where I am right now. I don't owe anybody any money. So no matter how bad things get, 
I don't have any creditors coming after me and asking me where my payment is this month because I don't owe anybody any money. I'm not, again, I'm not ridiculing or getting down on anybody because everybody's different. But over many years, some people have quit my channel. They said that I don't know what I'm talking about. They said taking out loans for RVs is a good thing. And I maintain that no, it's not. I don't want to have those kind of payments. So my point here is to sit back, relax, live like you're back in college, live really, really inexpensively. Don't buy things. Certainly don't take any loans out. Don't make any huge financial decisions at this point. Just let's ride it out. Let's be patient and ride this thing out. That's all I can say about that. Um, Believe it or not, a common question that I'm not getting, <laughs> that doesn't make sense, a question that I'm not getting is, hey, Dr. Dave, I'm really scared to death of catching this coronavirus. Like, nobody's saying that to me, nobody. I mean, we're all practicing uh, social distancing, we're being smart, we're not interacting with many different people, we're, we're washing our hands frequently. Um, you know the birthday song, when you wash your hands, do it for 20 seconds at least with soapy water doesn't matter if it's hot or cold, it's soapy water and disinfect a lot. And that's, you know, we're not really, I mean, yes, some of us are going to get it. I hope not a lot of us, but some of us will. And I hope if any of, if any of you do get the coronavirus, I hope it's uneventful and you're able to, you know, uh, wait it out and, and, and come out of it healthier than ever. I hope that's the case. Um, but that's not really a question I'm getting. People are more concerned about what do I do? Should I cancel my RV trip? And what about the money? And that's the two, those are the two main things that everybody is worried about, questioning, and scared about. And the RV trips can be put on hold. That's not going to change your life. The money thing is a big, big thing. And I, I have a feeling, I don't want to be pessimistic, I have a feeling this week the markets can tumble a lot more because there's there's really no good news that's come out this weekend nothing really good we're waiting for some good news um and once good news starts coming out i think that's when the markets are going to start start recovering this is unprecedented we're going to be able to see a lot of people out of work we're going to see a lot of businesses go bankrupt unfortunately it's horrible it's really bad but again if you can help other people that's best but help yourselves first by hunkering down and just riding it out as best as we can. We're, like I said, we're all in this together. Um, if you really need me, if you're, again, I've been really barraged by, that might not be the right word, but um, inundated, inundated is probably a better word, with uh, a lot of messages, a lot of people want to talk. I, I, so obviously I can't, I can't talk to everybody on the phone. It's just impossible. But if you're in a situation where you're, really you really need to talk to somebody and, and you're in dire straits if things are really tough uh send me a message uh, maybe we can jump on the phone i'll do my best i'm here to help people my, my mission in life for the past many decades has been to help other people that's what i do um sometimes i help people and sometimes i don't even help myself but helping others is crucial to me um if there's anything i can do for others i will do it trust me i will um there's one other thing I was thinking about that people are asking or people that are scared about. Oh, it's not really people are asking, but people are very anxious. Um, people are depressed. People are scared. People are worried. I'm not a big advocate of medicating, but if you're in a situation where things are really bad and your heart is like beating out of your chest and you're anxious and, and your blood pressure is going up, then maybe you should see a doctor and, and get some treatment for something that hopefully is only temporary. But another good way to treat anxiety, depression, things like that is to get out and move your body as best as you can. Get out in the fresh air right now. I'm out in Liberty Park that's right across from my house in Salt Lake City. I did some running. I did some walking. I'm not stopping, although we are changing our lifestyle by not spending and being very, very cautious and all the social distancing. So that's the best I can help you with. Uh, again, if any of you are like you feel like you're at the end of your road, you need to talk, message me. I'll do the absolute best I can because I'm here for you. You are not alone. I promise you, you're not alone. Until next time, I'm Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. Please take care of yourself. God bless.